Welcome to another exciting edition of uh, the uh, Premier League Zone, proudly brought to you by One X Bet. My name is Anthony Ajilu, and this is your number one family radio station, Inspiration 92.3 FM. It's a beautiful Monday morning, a Monday morning after a Sunday of bottling. We saw all kinds of bottles this past weekend. We saw the Red Bottle, we saw London Bottle, we saw Liverpool Bottle, uh, <laughs> we saw um, uh, White Bottle at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. We saw all kinds of bottles this weekend. I'll be doing a recap and a review and an analysis of all the bottles we saw this past weekend did i say my name i'll say it one more time anthony ajuli is my name and of course the gentlemen of valor are all here but the bruno is here triple o is here and nicholas iron is here as well start with the loser. i'll start with nicholas actually start nicholas, with the loser. nicholas nicholas uh, was uh, part of the people that experienced the bottle <laughs> <laughs> the rock and bottle for it <laughs> nicholas how are you doing this morning anthony uh it, it was a back-to-back you know um ah, well, <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, uh, it's football, you know, and anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, Anthony, actually, you know, 71 points to Arsenal, you know, the joy of it was Arsenal losing. So that, 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 that's, that's it. That's it for me. All right. Uh, but hey, Bruno, Kilo Shele. You do not bottle anything. <laughs> you have been bottling since. <laughs> you know, a consistent bottle. No, it's nice to see you guys wail and cry and... You know, people like or, or for United fans, they've accepted their fits uh-huh. a you lot of ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, now no, I'm asking Anthony based on what he's asking me right now. So it's nice to see you guys right. cry salty tears. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. crying yet. We are smiling. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Should I show you your post from, from yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> ah, <man. laughs> what the? What is wrong with these boys? <laughs> ah, yesterday was it was just a weird <laughs> well, day. It was a terrible day. Uh, it was, was good. Uh, uh, quick observation, by the way. Mm. I am fine, but quick observation. Um, Anthony, your your voice was inconsistent. Nah, 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 Nicholas, nah, Nicholas. <laughs> Not lie. You go last year, you didn't want that for me. Not lie. My voice was. <laughs> well, it's good to know. It's good to know. Uh, I'm not really pained about Liverpool. Own. Like, Liverpool know to give me joy. Now, I start when I give me joy pass. Because you look at, for the past 20 years, only one team has been bringing the Premier League title, the UEFA Champions League, the Europa League, the, 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 the UEFA Super Cup, the FIFA Club World Cup, all the reputable trophies. To London and it will remain like that, and that is my joy. It tells is not taking <laughs> to London, no, nobody, nobody else. You know, you know, I would say this while I don't, you know, I'm not a beefy person like that. I, I will not, I don't want to borrow a leaf from Nicholas's book and say that because Arsenal uh, loss makes Liverpool do better. Actually, for me, Arsenal's loss made it worse for me than Liverpool lost, yeah, because it, they would have taken capitalized on that and got away. That's a different matter altogether, but we'll say this though. Arsenal's defeat makes it bearable this morning because the likes of Ima exactly. and Belumi, they will not come here and be, and be talking, no drag, talking it in By the way, Kudus, 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 the I did not he called see. yesterday. Uh, of course, now he, he said, said he said it. Uh, and I, you see, Liverpool fans always want to... Always no, he's justified now. Always want to no, gloat with, with not. negative ideas. He is justified. justified. Anyway, let's go exactly. on the break. Uh, let's take a word from one expert. We'll come back and of course we'll begin the show properly. Don't go anywhere. All right, welcome back to the show. By the way, there's there's somebody, there's an intruder in the studio sitting here comfortably and crossing his leg in a place where it doesn't belong. I don't understand. The confidence and the pride is too much. <laughs> who call you here? Who call you here? See, uh, where, where you are at the top, you can who do anything. Who call you here? You can do anything. And you when can, they like you can, you can walk into any studio you like and sit ah. anywhere you like. You no, why should just be free? You are at the top. He's, ah. he's going to do it again. Ma, okay. We'll do what again. Yes, he's going to do it again. There's six games left, wow. Guy, calm yeah, down. Yeah, there are six games left, and he has the yeah, easiest sort of fixtures. Is, is the relaxed pose? He's crossing his leg, he's leaning relaxed. back, two <laughs> points on top. That's not to say anything. When he's sitting down there wearing that jersey, I don't know. Says a lot. When he was on top, they were just on top with one point. <laughs> but he has two. <laughs> anyway, uh, zero seven double zero nine two three nine two three nine two three number to call zero seven double zero nine two three nine two three nine two three or you send us messages on WhatsApp at zero eight one seven three one three six one nine three zero eight one. 
one seven three one three six one nine three. Let's read out the results of matches we saw this past weekend. I'll talk about one or two of them, and then we'll focus on your calls and uh, your messages. Early messages have come in. Let's just let's just read it actually, even though we've not talked about anything. But since you've sent it early, we'll talk. We'll read them. Uh, good morning, guys. I can feel the pain behind that. Good morning, Anthony. They shout. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, I want to dedicate a song to you and Arsenal fans this morning. I want you to play Otilo by Pokuli because <laughs> Shishi, we're not going to see this season. I'm sorry, Liverpool have the uh, Carabao Cup. We teach us the get. Yeah. Anyway, um, because Shishi, we're not going to see this season. Arsenal and Liverpool, two twins. <laughs> Yesterday was just Charles' play. Come Wednesday, 7 45 p.m. Nigerian time or West African time at the Allianz Arena. I've already dry cleaned my Agbada <laughs> to witness another big fat Arsenal L. <laughs> you guys should be there no matter what because me, I'm already in Germany as we speak. I'm going to with tears of pain. I'm going to says good morning guys and he's crying tears plenty of tears it do be like that sometimes <laughs> Damn, it happened last season it should be happy should be yeah, yeah, should by now I don't understand. almost the same time as well <laughs> i don't understand <laughs> anyway we'll come back to that let's just uh read out the results and then uh, talk about a few of them uh it started on saturday lunchtime uh newcastle claimed a 4 new victory over Tottenham hotspur yes it wasn't just liverpool and us not bottling spurs were bottling top four as well uh meanwhile united have bottled it before so they cannot yeah. catch up um nothing for us claimed the two uh played out a two two draw with Wolverhampton one draw. It was Man City five, Luton Town one. Uh Burnley and Brighton played out a one one draw. A terrible mistake from Aria Ariane Murich, who has been in good form in recent times as well. Uh Brentford two Sheffield United nil. Uh Bournemouth uh, played out a 2 2 draw with Manchester United. I felt they cheated Bournemouth in that one. We'll get to that in a bit. Cheetah, that, Cheetah, it, was, it was on the line. It was on the line is a penalty. It was on the line. On the line is a penalty. Focus on the whole team. On all the whole cheats on a similar way. Fulham 2 West Ham nil. Uh, West Ham were at home in that one, by the way. Uh, Crystal Palace went to Anfield and claimed a 1 0 victory. And then Arsenal followed suit. What you can do, I can do better. Uh, they were beating Aston Villa by two goals to nil at the Emirates. Tonight, we'll see Chelsea take on Everton at, um, later tonight. We'll leave that f- for now. Uh, let's start with, let's go to, let's go to the Emirates first of all, buddy. Um, it was it was a bad day at the office for us now poor performance um yeah the, it was it was fairly even in the first half but yeah. in the second half was it aston villa <laughs> aston villa just you know took it away from arsenal and once the second half we still went as far as i was concerned only one team looked like they were going to go on to win it um i disagree that it was a poor arsenal performance okay. i think it was just a case of a villa side who knew what they had to do on the day okay a villa side who had a clear plan of what they intended to do and the the more that game you know uh, went on and Arsenal didn't score it made it difficult they became so desperate and it, it's based on that desperation Aston Villa acted on and um, overall we need to give Una Emery a lot of credit rather than look for reasons why Arsenal didn't win that one um on the night as well uh, Martinez was awesome for Aston Villa he ensured he also made life very difficult uh for the Gunners mm. and to look at the two goals you know um quick quick um breaks you know mm. by the villa side end to end stuff and you know the two goals well deserved at that point in time fateta he will look at where he did get it wrong i do feel some of his changes were a bit questionable as well um in a game where you need a goal you have an indicator on the bench mm. um irrespective of you know whatever has happened this season mm. this is one player that did a lot for us now last season yep. i do feel he deserves a he chance in a game yeah. where they actually needed goals and um that didn't happen at the end of the day like i did say i'd rather look uh, i'd rather praise aston villa for how they set up and made okay. life difficult for Arsenal rather than aston. say uh, the gunners didn't play too well All i right. think villa tr- uh, thoroughly deserved uh their win yesterday if you look at the bo- the balls that didn't hit the crossbar yes. what have you it could have been Twice. more embarrassing yes, yes, for the gunners been. all right um let's go to the other hideous twin uh that's liverpool uh <laughs> <laughs> but it uh, suggested that Mikel Arteta. Uh, maybe got a few things wrong yesterday for club though and liverpool i don't think club got much wrong in that game it, he will not be the one that will go there and put the ball in the back of the net for the strikers we, we saw that game we've seen highlights highlights this morning it was miss after miss after ridiculous miss for liverpool strangely enough yes strangely enough uh, and uh, there was Curtis jones there was salah <laughs> there was jota oh, there was darwin uh, nunez and at that point you just feel like i mean uh, it's not it's not Liverpool's day. And uh, the goal for Crystal Palace was a well taken mm, one. Yes, it was. And um for me, Anthony we had this conversation before. Mm. Beyond the miss mm. the misses I beg your pardon. 
Raul Nunes is still not no, the striker that Liverpool need. They need a striker that can be guaranteed that when opportunity comes, he will make sure to take those opportunities. I'm not saying strikers don't miss chances, yeah. but Darwin Nunes' season is <laughs> just too much. Honestly speaking, if not because Liverpool are overall having a good season, mm. Darwin Nunes, if he, were to be, if he was to be playing for Chelsea, it is going to collect the same kind of dragging that, um, what's his name, Nicholas Jackson is taking. Mm, mm. Because what he's doing is what Nicholas Jackson is doing. Mm, mm. They say a striker is to a striker's job is to score goals. Some people are saying he has to have some some kind of uh, skills and all of that. But for Darwin Nunes, yes, he scores difficult goals, but it's not <laughs> it's, the easy one. He's not he's not the man to win the attack. Yeah, um, I, I think this is unfair. Okay. On da- Darwin Nunes. All right. Where have I said this? It wasn't only the one that was poor yesterday. Oh yes. Jones had a couple of chances. <laughs> Salah, um, so Jota, Salah, Jota, Salah was on the line. There's more responsibility. No, it, does, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It just, it just has been poor for like five chances. 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 Come off the bench in yes. games yeah. and rescued Liverpool. Yes. So scored on it is his right? job to score goals for Liverpool. Right. He's a striker. They broke the band to buy him. So let's, let's, there are several players share. that share the same responsibility. Let's, in go particular to, team. let's go to the team that will be smiling this morning Man City. Um, a lot of people have suggested, and I'm in that school of thought as well, that yeah. it is now City's title to not to lose because at this stage of the season, City really, games to go. really don't mess about. Uh, Anthony, I mean, you could rely on them to have maybe a six-game winning streak. Mm-hmm. They're certain, mm-hmm. and they, they know how to do the stuff. They know mm-hmm. how to stay there. Um, um, this is not an elephant that will fall. No, mm-hmm. yeah, actually, they have their tail all spread out right there at the top of the summit. I, I think you know it's it's sad, but I don't know which one to pick. Either to watch Arsenal win mm-hmm. or watch Manchester City win, but somebody's going to win the league, and mm-hmm. definitely. And it's really for Arsenal this, at this moment. It definitely has to be City, and they show that yes, they mean business. This, this are, these are the times where you expect Liverpool to understand you know the assignment, but then again, we have so much so much to say about that particular game but then again if we go ahead and blame those young boys i think it would be unfair because this young boys actually <laughs> you know, that was too nice. they are, you know, so we can't really blame them and say mm. uh, they failed to show up but for manchester city i think everybody understand the assignment alan himself at least go go yeah you know, he, he is in that davenilis kind of situation right now but then again i, I think uh, they are going to stay there and it will take the miracle of god or maybe a <laughs> big mistake to bring them down i, th- right. I think this all city all the Keep way by- did you enjoy this video Hit the subscribe button for more, leave a comment and like. Thank you.